Mao's Sampa changes the life of a female bricklayer in Zambia. This is an amazing story to watch. also known as Gelawapa Z, go from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you will be notified that Gelawapa Z uploads a poka video. Thank you, thank you so much for more than 75,000 subscribers. Na totala sana. In this video, I am sharing with you videos from Mao Sampa. I've just done a live stream with you guys talking about the female bricklayer and I've talked about other people as well. Just to encourage the Zambian young people that if you do hands-on work, there are lots of opportunities for you out there and don't limit yourself. So I just want to share these videos from Mao Sampa. You know, he discovered a young woman, this young woman here, who is her plastering was in Kanyama compound and she's from Matero, but hasn't looked down on her situation being a single mom. She's a single mom of one and is doing a hands-on work. And I'm just proud of our mayor, Mao Sampa, who's always looking at opportunities to empower the Zambian young people. And particularly this woman being a young woman, he's offered her a contract as well to plaster his walls, he's building a war fence, and she can do that as well. She's a builder. She can do that as well. So, and many people have contacted this young woman. Listen to the conversation between Mao Sampa and this young woman. Watch this. Hello, people of Lusaka. Today we are Nipu Chinika. Chinika. Chinika near Kanyama Bian Industrial Area. Um, we are with a unique lady. Uh, introduce yourself, man. Speak up. My name is Ben. Where did you learn your uh, constituting? My brother. Okay. So, Ngapange Nyumba. Okay. So, remember we are profiling uh, the women, especially the youth. Last week, we profiled uh, a young girl or young lady in Tendere, Helen Kaunda, who makes scones. 250 per night, and she sells them in CBD town and makes 500 kwacha a, a day. Uh, when we did the video, somebody, Mr. London Goma, even offered 1,000 to help uh, uh, business. So the youth, especially the females that are innovative and hardworking and focused and not spending time in bars, dancing, hugging, and doing the rest of the things. Now they're even smoking shisha, I found out last night. So when I see youths who are focused to make money for themselves, I, I want to profile them and help them. So, Chirangi is a minor child, and maybe in Una Masindi way. Osagwa. She's the lady. She's the girl. I wish my daughter Emma Nuela can see her and meet me. Doing it herself. In the Muchache Kachani way. <laughs> Help out. So she, she do that often. So she don't want to do that. Yeah. Come on, come on, show, come on, show. 
So she's done this part of the house. Uh, the rough casting, the decoration, she's the one who's done from here all the way to the end. Doesn't it look neat? Go around, go around. The neighbor's house, you see, this is in Shinika. Uh, the difference, she's changing the way the house is looking in Shinika to that. Come, come. Spot. Yeah, she's the one who's doing this. Uh, look at this, yeah. the window frame. The one she hasn't done the difference is here. Yeah, she's, so she's uh, yet to do this. Yeah, to complete. She's doing the designs uh. and that one. Look at the difference, that and that. She's very neat now. Get hold of me. Okay, but uh, that's where hard work to encourage you as a youth. Uh, for my salary, also, I want to contribute. Okay. One thing contributes to you, okay? Just sort to boost your yourself, your company, so that uh, you can buy more tools and you can uh, in, uh, enhance your skills. When you are finished here, get hold of me. I'll give you a contract to do a office at, uh, at uh, my little plot and um, my little farm in Palavana, in France. And then I'll speak to colleagues also that can give you bigger contracts. Yeah. But if you want to get hold of her, that number we put on the screen is for the female builder. Are yeah, you how old? 31 female builder with one child. Are you married? She's not married, a single mother one child at one she's making a living by doing jobs that are traditionally done by men she's up here doing a rough cast she's done a plastering there and she's doing a good job same the sunday other youths are busy at magoti or pablo bar in rivala or at uh, <laughs> at champs dancing she's working and then well done, congratulations. If you want to give her a contract or support her, I've done my bit, given her 1,000 quarter, let's boost her up. So she can buy books. Look, she's using my Madonna. Give me one, you have supposed to be using boots, but she's afraid of Madonna. So one thing I wish to have a jumbo, but I'm jumbo. Actually, come home, I have jumbo tomorrow, and uh, a work suit for the council. This will give you that. Okay? How much is it worth? 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 How much ก็ก็ตัวที่ดีๆก็ที่ดีๆก็ใช่อ่าบังกายบ๊ายบายเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวไปดูเซมิเตอร์อ่าออปโพสิตเดอะเปโตรดา
maybe 50 calls from people. 50 calls. Yes. Thank you very much. The power of social media. So Mao Sampa had promised to donate uh, a work suit to Diana because she was working without a work suit and some work boots as well. So this was the presentation. But at this particular time, obviously, Mao Sampa had used copyrighted music and YouTube laws don't allow us to do so. So here is Diana excited with her work suit. This is what we talk about empowerment. You know, when we talk about empowering people, it happens this way. When you push yourself as a young person, people will discover you. And when they discover you, uh, you will get the help that you need in order to push forth. So I am excited about this. And uh, you can see uh, Mao Sampa is talking about empowering women as well. That's his aim. Because this is a young woman who could be taken advantage of being a single mother but Mao Sampa also trying to, you know, push her by putting a contact. People have discovered that there's a person like this, the power of social media. Many ha people have condemned some of the things that Mao Sampa does on social media. And he says, look, you can close your social media account. I don't care. I am using social media wisely. And this is to empower the young people. So this is a great thing. I'm proud of Mao Sampa. Hello, the beautiful people of Lusaka. We are at the NR Department of National Registration, Passport and Citizenship. I'm, I'm here on a unique mission. I'm with the lady Bricklayer, you remember her? Uh, Diana Piri. Now, Diana, we, I'm trying to help her. She's my case study, how to help a youth uh, to from here to go up big in terms of empowerment, in terms of uh, economics in terms of business she has a skill and in terms of money uh, to make for herself so uh, yesterday I was trying to get to help her to open a company she doesn't have a company uh, and you can't get big business if you don't have a company so when I, I, I sent people to Pakra to try or I called her to try and open uh, a company for her and I bring this on, on Boba TV because it's usually the case with most youths and I want to make a point or a statement to the youths so when I asked her to bring the NRC so process what's your story tell me tell us about your NRC you can't see her face, you can't see her number, Diana Piri there, even the stamp is not there. There you can't read anything. 86 she was born. Where is your village? Uh, hmm? Mumbwa. Yes. Even I was actually Mumbwa, Mumbwa, the Kurusaka. Shakumbira, point, my point, my message. So I brought her here at the NRC department to help her get a new NRC so that we can open an account. The message to all the youths of Chawama, Matero, Kanyama, Lusaka Central, Kabwata, Munali, Mandevu is that. Without this Kapepa, ka NRC, there's nothing you can do to make your living. You can't get a job. You can't have a business registered. Um, so, using Diana as an example, a reminder. If you want to beula, to, to uplift yourself economically, 
Uh, how will you do it? How will you get employed if you have no NRC? How will you get a, uh, your business given a contract by anyone if you have no NRC? So check that you have a proper NRC. Not kanawa shiwa. Manzi yange na mnyumba mwako. So this is my case study, the female builder. I want to uh, you, uh, help her from here and help her make big, big money. I've told her that uh, by the time I'm finished with her, she'll have a 4x4 four four like this one. Can you say? So that she can be carrying her bricks. She can be carrying her bricks in the back. Who's your friend? 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 Don't look down on yourself. Look at the skills that you can bring forth. Even if it's a natural talent, can you bake scones? Can you make vitumbua fritas? Can you make puff puff? Can you make chapati? Can you make anything? Can you bake? Use your hands to do something. And then people will discover you. Don't wait for the government to empower you. I know it's a duty of the government to help you. But sometimes when you start something, people will talk about you. Like the female carpenter from Zambia, Sarah Wawope. I'll be bringing her on a live stream one of these days. But this is a lady who is making a living out of carpentry. And she is feeding a family. She's a mother of two children. You can do that as well. And for Diana, I am so proud of her because this shows that you can achieve your goals and people will discover you. There's just something about you doing something that you love, what you're passionate about, regardless of whether people buy into your vision or not. People will discover you later. I mean, my YouTube channel is proof and evidence. I use my YouTube channel to share videos and I use my mobile phone to do so. 75,000 subscribers is not a joke. So I just wanted to encourage you with this video from Mao Sapa. You know, he's a mayor of Lusaka who is different. He wants to empower the people of Zambia. And I'll also, I'll also share a snippet of a video where he's talking about women registering with an organization as well in Zambia in order for women to be empowered. So this youth, women empowerment can start now, you know, without Bill 10. So don't buy into the Bill 10 saga where they're saying uh, only Bill 10 will encourage women to be part of parliament. We can be part of parliament without Bill 10. And given Lorinda has also denied that Bill 10 is, um, uh, billboards don't exist and yet they're all over Lusaka. You know, these are the type of people that are governing us that waste time arguing over rubbish, you know, arguing over Bill 10 billboards when there's young people in Zambia that need to be empowered. And that's why I love Mausa because he's not wasting time on talking about this and that, but rather acting. If you are in position of power, you must act in order to help other people. And that is what Mausa has been doing. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Lela Matams, also known as Genoa Pazet. See you on my next video. I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lily Matams.